Hello my friends and finally welcome back to another Let's Build New Crest. I haven't touched on this series since 2019. That seems like so long ago now. But hello, I'm back. Um, this video is a little bit late as well. Main reasons being I'm going to be real with you guys. You do know, I said in my last speed build that I was going away to meet a friend and I couldn't say much about it. It was one of my best friends that surprised the 40th birthday. So I traveled up to Brighton for it and it was a very, it was a good time, but I have had a hangover for about five days now. <laughs> this is the remnants I've just spat everywhere. I probably blew a bubble then. I'm not gonna edit it out. Um, yeah, this is the remnants of the aftermath of said party. So I am a little bit fragile still. I'm old. I can't drink anymore. Um, and this is the this is the repercussions of that. But um, yeah, just wanted to explain to you guys where I've been for the past week or so. Um, but anyway, hello, welcome. This is Newcrest Promenade. So my thoughts were we're back in this district with the park area there and also the church. Now these two main lots here are going to be retail streets or a mix of retail restaurants whatever you want to change it into um newcrest promenade i'm going to start by building the boutique hotel today so obviously the hotel can't be used as a hotel because that is not a thing in the sims but for storyline purposes you can kind of make it look like it is a hotel and have your sims sleep in there whatnot whatever you want to do with it um, and then when I've got some other ideas for some shops going around this way. Um, and I'm unsure what to do with this lot here just yet. But uh, I thought it'd be quite cool. So today we'll start with the boutique hotel. Now this is going to be in quite a few parts, I would imagine. Um, main reasons being, it just it's just going to take long. It's going to take long, this one. I'm going to completely furnish everything as well. But we're going to try and pack as much detail in as possible. But also... Um, put as much detail in so it still runs quite smoothly if you haven't got a kind of high-end PC. Uh, so yeah, Boutique Hotel first. And I think the next one, I won't tell you what the other ones I've got planned on, but one of them, I want to do a laundrette. So I'm going to do a laundrette along here as well. Um, very quintessential, quintessentially British looking, very semi-London. I kind of want this to look like. I have already chose some swatches and some windows that I'm going to be using for this boutique hotel itself. I did get inspired by a hotel called Artist Residence, which there's there's one in London, there's one in Brighton, but there's also one in Cornwall. I've actually stayed in the Cornwall one um, and they are a lovely mini chain of hotels. I'll put a photo up for you right here. Oh, no, this way. Um, so I got inspired, inspired from the kind of colour palette, uh, semi kind of inspired but so yes welcome how are you welcome welcome um i've been recuperating myself for these past few days by binging on netflix i've got heavily and emotionally invested in, <laughs> in a program called sex education i think everyone out there has been watching it um what a program seriously i just i'm so invested in the characters i absolutely loved them absolutely loved it. and let me know if there's any sex education fans out there um i thought it was brilliant brilliantly done the cast was amazing the costumes the music just the whole bloody lot i loved it loved it loved it loved it yeah let me know if there if anybody's been watching it out there as well so down here this is almost like a blue black it doesn't look very blue black in this light because i have got a reshade on but this is kind of a really nice blue back wallpaper that we're going to be starting off with this boutique hotel these are three wide i'm probably going to get this wrong so if i do one there oh no that is right yep that's right so we do one there one there and then one there <coughs> um do excuse me if i derp out at all today i am very rusty at doing let's builds because i haven't done one in a decade how many decade jokes can we get in this part quite a few probably very quite a few so yeah, my thoughts were, I love these arch windows. These are from the Realm of Magic. Am I right on that? I think they are. Yeah, they're from the Realm of Magic. I love them. They come in lots of different like, varieties. But I just thought they make a nice, almost shop front. They do look very shop fronty. But I kind of want to have that aspect to it um, with this build in particular. So um, I'm not going to copy that floor plan down there because I don't want it to copy the 
wallpaper as well. So I'm just going to do this one here. Probably seeing this boutique hotel um, being three stories high with maybe a roof garden. I'm unsure on what we're going to do with the roof yet. Um, this is looking very large, but I'm going to go with it for the minute. I think it needs to be large. I think this one needs to be quite large. We'll keep all of the windows at a medium height as well. Yeah, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. And then the top two, I'm going to use this homemade brick, which is over from here, which is from the from Get Famous expansion. I just thought them two sit together really nicely. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. And then window wise, I loved these here, which were from the university expansion. Um, why do you look like you're fitting nicely and then not down? What's that about? Hang on. Have I not put that wall up yet? I have. Oh, it's because it's sitting right on the edge there. Mm, what if I bring you down? What would that look like? Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Got to remember, I need to get... Oh, actually, let's get them back up. Because I do want to put a little mini balcony on these bits. And also, there needs to be one of these awnings as well above these windows. So maybe I'll leave it like that for the minute. Now, this is probably the first time I'm using these... Um, window, these particular windows anyway from the university expansion. I'm, I'm enjoying them. I am. I'm absolutely enjoying them. Now, yeah, I think so. Okay. Maybe I could use some different windows here. Let's have a look at the university ones. Let's have a little look at them. Because maybe I could do like a one of these moments on here. Wish there were some bigger. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not as big as what I wanted. No, that's not big enough either. What about medium? I mean, they've got these, which don't really fit with it. These probably would do a little bit better. Hmm. Do they come in that? They must come in that um, colorway. They do. Hmm. I'm kind of there for that for the minute. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to put a half wall up here. We're going to do a little cheeky half wall. Um, no, we don't want university half walls because there isn't such a thing. I'm going to go up a bit higher. Is that too high? No, I kind of enjoy that. I might go a little bit more higher there, though. That looks weird. Doesn't this jump up too far? No, it doesn't. Um, Hang on. I have a thought. I don't know if it would work or not, but we're going to try. What if I do that there? Same there. Yeah, I think so. And then go down again with these here, look. Like there. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm into that. Could be wrong. Could be completely wrong. Maybe putting a roof garden up there wouldn't be a good, bad idea. But I don't know if I want to do... I might actually put a roof in there itself. Instead of doing a roof garden. Um, Unsure. But we'll leave that until a bit later on. In fact, I would like a roof there. I'm just thinking... Because I can just imagine this like dome area kind of being here. That's where my thought processes are going. That is where my thought processes are going. Um, hello to all you newcomers as well. I've had quite an influx of lovely new subscribers since my last kind of four speed builds. Um, welcome. Welcome to the channel. I really appreciate you stopping by and um, sticking around. Sticking around on the channel. I appreciate it. I really do. Don't know if I like that white with it. What can we? Is this? Does this come in an all black? No, it doesn't. It comes in an all white, which just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, there's grey and white there. That looks a bit better than the white and black, maybe. Grey and white. Yeah, I prefer the grey and white. I'm gonna put a little roof on top of this as well. So maybe if I go into diagonal roofing, um, we'll be able to get a roof on there. And what kind of roof would I want? What well, they haven't even got this kind of window there. I'm just looking at a reference picture. Maybe if I just oops, maybe if I just use one of these. Let's bring that in right to the edge, just so it's not going to stick through when I take away floors or staircases or whatnot. Um, do I want to take that in just one? I think I do. I'm going to skip that down to about there. Yeah, I think so. I do think so. And I think I'm going to use that same one up here as well. And then we'll go and put a nice roof tile on it too. But yeah, but yeah. Oh my God, I'm so tired. So bloody tired. 
Um, but I knew I had to get this video out for you guys. And don't worry, I never feel pressured to like bring videos out. You know with me, I'm very relaxed on how I upload and stuff. Main reasons being it's it's not my full-time job. I'm not a big YouTuber with a full-time YouTube job where I can, I've got all the time in the world to kind of get videos out. I just have to do it when and where I can. And that is the way it, that's the way it goes, my loves. Yeah, I do like that. I like the use of the black roof as well. Mm. Oh, do I? <laughs> I've second, I've second questioned myself now. Mm. Isn't there like a real bluey one? A bluey grey? Oh, that's better. That's much better because, my friends, I'm going to use this one here. I know this one comes in a blue kind of, yeah, that would look cool. Can we go around there? I suppose I could if I put a, yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Now that I'm doing that there, though, it means I can move those windows down again. I said I was going to have a look to see if I could move them down. Um, After I'd put a few more details on it. And maybe, in fact, hang on. We're going to try this again. Oh, this one doesn't come in that color, does it? This one does, though. So it's this one. Yeah, so this is thinner. That's thinner there as well. And then I'm going to use the thick boy right on top. And we're going to move these down. There we go. Um, To get balconies and stuff on there as well. I'm not sure if I want to make the actual balconies with a fence. Or just use the kind of pre-made stick-on kind of window ones. <laughs> that took a while to get there, doesn't it? I think these are too small though. Yeah, they are. What about you? You look a little bit wider. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, no, it needs to be kind of like, it needs to have like a black. I think I'm going to use the fence. We're just going to use the fence, friends. Let me have a little look. Is there any fences I can see in these reference pictures I've got? Not really. But these ones would probably be perfect, as would these. Ooh, I don't tend to use these, but I think this would marry in well, better with the style. Um, they would have to be three. They would have to be three, but I'm not mad at that. Oh, I much prefer that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Three of them, lovely. And I can put that, like, uh, trim around the balconies as well, just to make them kind of sit in nicely to the build itself. Stunning. Yeah, that's fair. I much prefer that. Gonna use some pillars in here as well. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've, I've really disliked the pillars since the update. <laughs> Is anybody else feeling that way about the pillars? I find them really not user-friendly in the slightest anymore, especially when placing them diagonally. I mean, I could be doing something wrong, so you guys might even be able to teach me something in a minute when I show you what I mean. Um, But I'll show, well, I'll show you. Let me just get these trims on, my loves. Get these trims on up there. And we'll get a nice wallpaper down there in a minute as well. Let's get that grid off. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that's much better. Much better. I feel that these might need to be shuffled down now. I mean, no, they're fine. Absolutely fine. But anyway, hello. This is what I was having trouble with. Um, so say I wanted to like put this billet on diagonal. How do I know? I used to be able to hold alt down and twist the pillar around. Now I can't put the pillar down on a diagonal because this point kind of goes weird. You know what I mean? It's not like kind of going square. Like, how do you do that? I can't hold alt. I can't twist them around. You have to place them. Like, it's a big mess. So if there's anybody out there that can help me out with that, I would very much appreciate it <laughs> because I've tried everything and I have no idea how to do it. Um, I'm just going to have a think and sort of see if we can have a look at some pillars here. Um, and I'll start placing them around. Um, they probably have to be circular. But yeah, let me just have a little think. Okay, so I've decided to go for this one. Main reasons being, it's going to give the style that I wanted. It's got the black that I wanted as well. But also, it's circular. So it won't mess up with the kind of entrance way too much. Hopefully this will work. Okay, it looks kind of good. I do need a trim around here now, though, now that I'm looking at it. I may even use a different trim on that bit, actually. Um, and what I mean is, like, around the top of this little, like, roofline area. 
So yeah, today we'll probably just get the exterior to this hotel finished and completed. And then the next one we'll do the interior and then we'll move on to the next. We'll, we'll kind of keep that going this way. I don't know if I want to put them up on here yet. Let's have a look. Let me see what that would look like first. Um, I think it would look all right. It might do. Oh, it kind of does. Yeah. And, and it will fit in with the balcony. It kind of finishes off the balcony areas nicely. Oh, stunning. I really like the colorways. I like the colours on this here. The palette that I chose. I enjoy it. Um, and we'll put some nice tiles out on the balcony as well. Maybe using some fancy tiles um, from the vampire stuff pack. I would love to see some more Victorian-esque tiles in the game. Um, I've yet to find any really nice ones on like for CC as well. So if there's anybody out there that have got any links to any really gorgeous Victorian tiles, preferably Maxis Match. In fact, I'd like them to look <laughs> Maxis Match. Um, then let me know because I'd be very interested. Yes, this one comes in a blue. Oh, it's the wrong blue though. And it's got red in it as well though. It's kind of meant to be. That pattern or this pattern? Let's have a look. That pattern. I was right in the first place. There we are. Yeah, they look nice on the balcony. There we go. Um, I've got a bit of a blocked nose as well. So if I sound a little bit na nasally more than usual, that's the reasons why, my friends. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I like that. That looks cute. I enjoy it. We're going to have to have a sign as well, but I don't want a big bougie air. Uh, so I might just like have a little like indescript one like on the building or something or maybe even on the window. Oh, that's a good thought actually. I've had a thought. Right, um I'm going to get the the pavement slabs, sidewalk slabs, sorry, not pavement. We're playing an American game here. It's pavement, not no, it's sidewalk, not pavement. It is pavement though. <laughs> um yeah, we'll put them to there. Yeah, I think that would work. And I, list, I was going to do that trim here. This is going to be quite difficult because of the diagonal. I hope The Sims 5 is um, going to be much more user-friendly to building on a diagonal. And just building in general. I hope, they, I hope they've learned a lot from The Sims 4 to be able to kind of perfect the build mode and the game in general for Sims 5. I know there's been a lot of controversy around it surrounding um online features and stuff like that at the minute i tend to like step back from any kind of um community drama it's just not for me so i always tend to shy away from it can we say um i'm fine with either i really am well that's quite nice isn't it what would you i mean you're gonna no you look weird you're starting to look more kind of uh new orleansy with that around there this is still keeping that London vibe to me. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Right, I'm going to find those signs. And I'm going to start making a start on the roofs. And sort of see what we can do with the roof area. But um, I'm just going to find that sign. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we have... I've used this one here. This is from Get to Work. I just thought it looked kind of fitting. And it's kind of 3D as well, which is cool. So I've put them on the windows. But I've also put a small red one at the top here. Thought it looked pretty cool. It looks like it should be called like Crescent or Coconut Park. <laughs> um, Coconut Park um, Boutique Hotel. <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> um, we are going to start doing the roof. I'm just going to put that down there for the minute. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to put a plain black one so those lines don't throw me off. Um, and I'm going to start trying to map around this roof area now i'm thinking for the roof shape in the front with the eight squared look i mean eight squared <laughs> the eight sided look okay uh, no 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 it wouldn't maybe the circular one then if i get rid of this and i can just do a proper dome around this area it might even mean that i have to get rid of this wall bit at the top here but i've kind of got this vision in my head are the roofs still not fixed in the game? No, that is just awful. So, it's great. Great. The roofs aren't working still. 
Love that. I do. I love when things don't work. It is. It's one of my favourite things about the game. It's when, like, it just doesn't work. <laughs> love it. I'm all for it. That looks like a tit. We're not going to have that. Um. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to try something. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to try and do maybe like a smaller... This I might make this space unusable at the top. But I'm going to try something right here. Um, if I can just do that. Yeah, me. Yeah, we'll keep it on the short height as well. And we'll do it there. And we won't make this space usable. And I'll just roof around that area as well. This area can kind of be hidden in. Is that right? No, that's not right. That is there. Is that right? No, 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 no. I'm going to pull that actually right to the end here. Map that in through there. <clears throat> and I think what I'm going to do is... We'll try it with this first. Let me just try something. We're going to try something new. It's not new, but we're going to try it. Right, and I'll tuck these flaps in. There you are. Um, maybe to about there. If I shuffle this right along to there. Okay. It's going to be difficult to do this bit here, but I may be able to sort that out with... Let's try this first. This might not look okay, but we're going to try it anyway. I'm going to try it anyway. Um, pull you back to a one square. And then tuck all of these into the sides here. And bring you up, my love. And bring you up to that level as well. Hmm. I mean, it'd probably be better if I did a... It's just weird trying to get a hexagonal or any kind of angular rooftop when you've got kind of irregular points that you want to do because I've got a one, a two, and a one. It's quite difficult to try and do that in The Sims. Very difficult indeed. Um, what if I put it one more? One more. And then pull this in even further. Um, to like there. This might be okay, but it might have to rise a bit higher than natural. It's going to come right out the top. <sighs> I mean, I can round it off and stuff, but... I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. See if I can just make that shape fall into there. I know it's got that big boob hanging out the top at the minute, but I might be able to sort that out with a plant. <laughs> Put a plant on it. It'd look lovely. I mean, this is where I could start doming it, to be honest. Mm, that doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, let's shuffle you down, though. I think you're a little bit too high, my friend. I mean, that's quite nice. Let's get you up to about there. Yeah, I kind of enjoy that. So I'm going to put windows at the top here. I am going to actually just roof all the way around. Because it would just make it a whole lot easier. Because I can then tuck... Oh no, I'll keep that... Like there. And then maybe... Maybe doing a half hip tier. Let's get that up to a good level. Which is around about there. Yeah. And then I'm going to pull this one and... Excuse you. You've risen very high, haven't you? Oh, oh, what am I doing? I was like, what's going on? Why am I doing this wrong? It's because it was too thick. It was too thick. All right, let's get that perfect to about there, maybe? Yeah, I think so. I think it is. Okay, and then we could just copy these. Stunning. 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 And nearly stunning. Stunning. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little fence moment up here. And then obviously I need to paint this top bit as well. I think I'll do that brick as well. Just so it marries in with the top. 
Yeah. Okay. Right. And then a mini little minuscule decorative fence at the top. Maybe this one. Just to there. And just up here as well. Um, it would be nice to have some chimneys up here, which I'll probably do. Should I go around like this? Just to map it in. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. And we can do a trim up here as well. Um, I will need to do a trim at the top there. Can't go as thick. Uh, hmm. Can't go as thick up there. I do need one around here. That one there's disappeared all of a sudden. So we'll get that sorted in a second. Hmm. Okay, give me one second. I'm just going to sort out this uh, trim business. There, managed to get the trim sorted. I just had to do my own way of doing things. And I just put a mini fence just to be able to make that floor space. So then it recognizes as a, so I can get the freeze up there. Um, roof wise, I definitely think black would probably be the way to go. Because we haven't put many black accents in. Um, I'm thinking that would probably be the way to go. I mean, that's quite nice, but I almost want it to look more slaty like this. Yeah, I think in this one. More slaty. Slaty is the word of today. And then at the top here, I will just do that plain black top like that. Let's get that grid off. Um, Yeah, I do, I do believe so. Do need some trims now, though. Definitely need some trims up. Do I want to go thicker with a trim? I mean, it's not really done much to it. Thicker wise. I know I, that I could use this one, but that's just overkill. So I think we'll stick with this one. We'll stick with the square one. It's fine. Stick with the square one. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, cool. I'm feeling putting some flags on the front here. Can't remember where the flags came from. Oh, there they are. Didn't we have some different ones of these? I mean, that would look really cool. I liked that first swatch that we just saw then. With the colour tones. It kind of matched in well. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll use that one. And we'll just do kind of one like there. One there. One on this side as well. And then one there. Do I want to do that one there as well? <laughs> I think we do. I think we do, my friends. Yeah, that looks pretty. That looks very nice indeed. Now, I'm feeling out here, we definitely need some greenery. We definitely need a tree or two. Maybe I could use the kind of ones that I've used in the park. Again, I'm looking around to sort of see the trees and stuff around this area. Um, maybe if I use, actually, the, the aspen tree that's in that kind of area, yeah, like this one. Oh, that looks really pretty but I think it needs a plainer planter at the bottom. Like a white one or even a brown. A brown. Yes. If I can do like one like there. And then one on the same side, this side. That is right, isn't it? Oh, God. Excuse you. Thank you. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Definitely need some planters. I'm not going to plant all on these windows, but at these here... I think we need some planters on the outside. Maybe we could use like this one in the red. What if I size you up? Oh, Christ, no. Christ, no. Absolutely not. Oh. Yeah, maybe you. It's kind of giving that black detail in as well. Could you... Will they look weird? Oh, no, they're fine. Oh, that looks quite nice. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I am feeling that. There definitely needs to be some details along here as well. So maybe I could use the... These are always quite chunky for me. Don't know why. But I think maybe putting these all the way along. Yeah, I do like that. I like that. I thought it was going to be too big then. But as I looked at it, it kind of balanced it out a little bit for me. In my eyes anyway. Um. Right, you need to go away. We're going to get you again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not going to fit in there perfectly. So what I'm going to have to do is probably manually put these in. 
I mean, there we go. These might be a bit wonky and I'll have to sort them out off of camera. But I'm trying my best, okay? I'm trying my best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's look. Yeah, I'm, I'm there for that. I'm there for that. Could change off of camera. You know what I'm like. You know what I'm like. Um, Let's put that in manually as well. It's a bit close, that one, but we're going to go with it. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, 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 and lovely. That one there was completely overlapped with the other one. Oh, Christ. Oh, and also Sims 5, let's sort the camera out, shall we? Yeah, let's sort that camera out. That would be great for the Sims 5. We need a camera that doesn't do that. We don't, we don't need that. We don't need that rise. We just need a camera that just goes where we want the camera to be thank you thank you very much <laughs> thank you for coming i appreciate you oh my lord dude de definitely need some chimneys up here as well but maybe i could all right we'll get to that off camera is fine maybe i could put like a couple of chimneys on the side here like do you know what i mean like around there but i think they need to be big ones like not kind of like this Hmm, I mean, these are good and all, but it's, oh, that, I know it's not the exact same, uh, brick, but it does match in because of the tone is okay on it, at least in this lighting anyway, and in daytime is fine. I want them to be risen a bit, but it doesn't let me do that here. What if I do it like, nope. Oh, there we go, look. Let's do it right in the middle there. Of those windows. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. Right, how many did I do that? Was that like two? Or even three? I think that's fine. I haven't got my mods installed at the minute, so I can't go into free cam mode. Um. But yeah. I mean, that's not too bad. I kind of enjoyed that. I think to finish this off, I mean, this is, I'm trying to keep these episode sort of like lengths down <laughs> just so I can get more out. But I think we'll put a nice red carpet. Um, let me see if I can just get a nice red plain carpet um, or rug even. That would kind of act like a, oh, I mean, that's a bit big, but. I mean, that is a big, big. And this one's going to be a bit too thin. I like a bit of girth. Filth. Utter filth. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we'll go for that one, but I might even just size it up. It's got a red and black one there, but I don't, again, I don't want it to be too overkill with the, the kind of colour mapping, matching. Yeah, I think this one would just match in well or better with it. Like, do you know what I mean? I could just do like one there and the same again. Like on the other side, size it up. Spin it around with my keys and slap it there. Obviously there needs to be lighting and stuff involved. Uh, that's not too bad. Yeah, there definitely needs to be a plant pot on either side here. So we'll do that. We've got trees there. Doesn't need to be red. It needs to be bougie, bougie. Or even these would look good there. Wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? Hmm? Yeah, they do. Oh, that's cute. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. Ta-da! So, we've kind of got semi a bit of the um, in exterior down. I do like the exterior. I still want to put a few more details on the outside, like... Um, I always forget what they're called. The corbels. They are called corbels, aren't they? Corbler, corbler, king of corbels. Just like around these areas. Just so it kind of looks very structurally sound. And especially under the balconies, I'll size up a few of them. Maybe a bit more of the ornate ones. Um, but I'll show you that next time before we kind of head on in and start mapping out the exterior to this. I'm definitely not going to put anything up here. Um, 
I may put a window or two on these bits. I'm unsure, but I'm not going to use this space. But we'll use all of these kind of rooms here. My idea being, I'll explain this before I finish this episode, would be kind of reception area kind of here, walled off into almost like a little uh, bar, a little bar area for the hotel. Um, stairs somehow. I don't know where we're going to put the stairs. Um, and then I'd probably want four bedrooms. Being a boutique hotel, they tend to have uh, fewer rooms than a bigger hotel. Um, but we'll make them all bougie as hell. And maybe we'll theme, theme the rooms or something. Or, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that. Let me know. But, um, yeah, that's it. That's the first episode or first part of this uh, particular little mini uh, series inside another series. <laughs> um, finished for the moment. Um, I will bring another one out this week as well. I am still working on some speed builds too. So this series is going to kind of be intermingled with a lot of speed builds and stuff. But I'll get another part out this week too. So expect that probably towards the end of the week. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next part. <laughs>